demonstrate the method for using the PC Run DNA Rapid Extraction Kit for the extraction of DNA to be employed with the PC Run Molecular Detection Kits. Prior to performing the PC Run procedures, a suitable work area which has been decontaminated with diluted commercial household bleach must be prepared. Once the clean area is ready, you can begin with the DNA extraction step. The PC Run Rapid DNA Extraction Kit is used for the isolation of DNA from biological samples. The kit contains all the disposable components required for the extraction of DNA that is compatible for use with PC Run molecular kits. The contents of each standard kit are The equipment to be supplied by the user includes In this case, we are using EDTA-treated whole blood. We will extract DNA from this sample, which will be later employed with the PC Run Molecular Detection Kit. Turn on the heat block and adjust the temperature to 95 degrees centigrade. When the target temperature has been reached, you can begin the DNA extraction process. Remove one red-capped column and one green-capped vial for each sample to be prepared. Label both the red and green lids clearly with the sample name. Mix the blood sample thoroughly, then using the disposable capillary tubes, remove 50 microliters of blood. This is performed by first depressing the capillary tube while outside of the sample, and then placing the tip of the capillary tube into the blood sample and releasing the pressure until blood is drawn up to the level of the black line. Add this blood to the extraction buffer found in the column. Close the column lid firmly and mix by tapping lightly on the side of the column. Place the column into a hole of the preheated block and allow it to incubate at 95 degrees centigrade for exactly 5 minutes. Remove the column from the heat block and loosen the red cap. The blood sample will have transformed into a dark red solid clot. Allow the sample to cool for 1 minute at room temperature. If you intend to use the heat block for the following PC run reaction, cool the instrument to the desired temperature. If you wish to speed up the cooling process, remove the block from the internal metal heat plate to cool on a bench or in a fridge for a few minutes, and then return it to the internal heat plate. Allow the block to reach the target temperature. In this case, we will be performing the PC run reactions at 60 degrees centigrade. Following the one minute cooling stage, Invert the column and break off the column base. Avoid cross-contamination between columns when analyzing more than one sample. If you feel that your gloves have been compromised, change gloves between samples. Gently place the column into the 1.5 milliliter green lid collection vial containing PC Run Dilution Buffer. The DNA can be displaced into the PC Run Dilution Buffer by either of the two methods described below. Syringe Method Remove the red lid from the column and dispose of it in a biohazard bin. Firmly screw a lure lock lid to the column. Displace 10 milliliters of air in the syringe supplied by pulling the plunger to the 10 milliliter mark. Firmly screw the barrel of the syringe onto the lure lock lid. Slowly push the plunger into the syringe barrel until a small amount of liquid is expressed from the tip of the column into the PC run dilution buffer. Cap the vial with the green lid and gently mix to disperse the DNA into the buffer. This diluted DNA sample will be used for the following PC run molecular reaction. Centrifuge method. This method requires a centrifuge which can contain the green capped vials and maintain a speed of 1500 G for one minute. Place both the column and the green capped vial piggyback into the centrifuge. Activate the centrifuge for one minute at 1500 G. Remove the collection vial from the column and close the tube with the green cap. Take care to discard the column into a biohazard container. Gently mix the contents of the collection vial now containing the extracted DNA. The extracted DNA is suitable for use in most PC run reactions.